name is Emily. My name is Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. We have a fun recipe today involving a delicious cereal, Frosted Flakes. We are making Frosted Flakes Fish Sticks. Today, for our fish sticks, we are going to be using Wahoo. This is something that you can really use any fish for. Mahi would be great with this. We just didn't have any in our freezer, so we went with Wahoo. Not a bad trade-off. The first thing I'm gonna do before I get into any of the ingredients or show you all the steps is this is our frosted flakes in a bag, and we're gonna need to crunch them up just like panko breadcrumbs because we're gonna be mixing this with panko for our fish sticks. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how we do this. About one inch thick fillet. Yeah, like one inch thick by three inches. Three inches long. Making nice little fish sticks. We do this with Wahoo. You can do it with Mahi. You can do it with uh, what else can we do it with? Cobia. Cobia. Anything, any fish that's like not a snapper has a nice thick white fillet. I feel like you could make, make fish sticks out of it. And that was the idea here. We said, what can we do? We want to make it fun. We want to make it tasty. Honestly, this is probably a really good recipe. Frosted flakes on it and they'll eat it. Today's ingredients are going to include, of course, fish. Any white fish that you cut into fish sticks of your choice. We chose to use Wahoo, one of the fastest fish in the sea, and we are going to be salting it, putting paprika on the fish, and white pepper. White pepper is a really, really nice touch for seafood. After we season it, we are going to move on to the breading process, which is going to include flour, eggs, Followed by our panko frosted flake mix, which is a half panko, half frosted flake. I have an idea. You guys need to see a little fun clip of how we got this Wahoo. There is oh, a full yeah. video. There is a full video you can go watch. We'll link it. But for now, let's show you a little piece of it. Nice fish, guys. I'm like so excited. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> I, wanna, I, wanna, I wonder what it is. Biggest one so far, for sure. Like, I can hardly. You need to put in two speed? No. <laughs> no. Come watch on. the drag. Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Ah! Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Guys, look, look at, at the collar. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, don't forget, set your oven. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Time to start seasoning our fish. I'm going to just sprinkle some salt on our fish sticks. I'm very excited. I feel like I haven't had fish sticks since I was a kid. I know. Like, Except the frozen kind. Actually, when we were in college, we used to buy organic frozen fish sticks. And, and we had them all the time. We had them all the time because it's a great college thing that you can just put in the toaster oven. <laughs> <laughs> and we since then we've graduated to catching our own fish and making our own fish sticks. Very but true. We did meal prep all the time in college. We were huge meal preppers. We ran track, so we were actually cooking all the time. But it was usually chicken. We had a lot of chicken. I'm tired of chicken. This I'm, so tired of chicken. I'm so tired of chicken. We've moved on to fish. So this is the paprika. You can kind of put as much paprika on your fish as you like. Depends how spicy you want it. I kind of like to put more rather than less because I think once you bread it and everything get in the oven, it kind of starts to, I don't know, not fall lose, off. Yeah. Lose, lose a little bit of its flavor. But don't forget, paprika and white pepper has spice to it. So 
if you're trying to make it for people that are picky because it has frosted flakes on it. Just skip the paprika. Skip the paprika. Maybe just do salt and pepper. I like to think the spice is fun because you have a little bit of spice with a little bit of sweetness. So I prefer to do white pepper, paprika, salt. Make it super fun. This is like a fun, fun fish to cook. that the order you dip your fish in makes a big difference so we like to order it order it we like to bread it in the order of flour egg panko frosted flakes that's the order we like to do we think it gives you the crispiest most golden brown texture that you could get let's start we're gonna start I'm gonna dip my fish stick in flour first make sure it's completely coated from the flour we will move on to the egg same thing make sure it's completely coated and the exciting part, from the egg into the frosted flakes. So we're gonna wanna make sure we really coat our fish stick in the frosted flakes, make sure it's nice and on there. Look at how yummy that looks. And from here, we're gonna move straight onto the pan for baking. I'm so excited, are you excited? <laughs> I'm really excited. Like, I feel like a kid eating frosted flakes. Although my favorite, ce what's, what's your favorite cereal? Uh, Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, what's my favorite cereal? Probably Fruity Pebbles. We've always liked Fruity We should do a Fruity Pebble fish. That would be very weird. Who knows? Maybe it'd be good. Maybe we will try it. <laughs> well, while you sit there and continue to get these delicious fish sticks going, I think it's time for a twin truth. I do too. Okay. What is today's twin truth? Today's twin truth is kind of a fun fact about being twins, and it is that we never dress the same. We go out of our way to dress differently. We have the same styles, and we do have some of the same clothes, especially simple t-shirts or well, workout tops. What we like to do is we'll buy the same shirt in like three Two different, different colors. colors. Right, and then we'll just share it. But when it comes to leaving the house, you won't see us wearing the same thing. No, you won't. Definitely not. And even like when we were in school and had school uniforms, we used to, obviously school uniforms, you have like a red shirt, a blue shirt, and a white shirt. Yeah, we would and we not. would not wear the same school uniform. Because, because we would people would school. say, like, yeah. oh, you dress the same. And like, I'm like, school uniform dress the same as half the school. Exactly. But people would think they would still make a comment because we're twins. They'd be like, you're wearing the same shirt today. And like, yeah, yeah, so, so are you. And a bunch of other people. But either way, we do not wear the same thing. So if there are any twins watching this, let us know if you guys made a huge effort to dress differently or if you didn't care. Look how far you're coming along, Amanda. Making progress. They uh, look so good. Fish I'm very excited. <laughs> moving our fish sticks. Take a look at our fish sticks. We are going to go ahead and move our fish sticks from the breading station <laughs> to, the to the oven. Here we go. Going in. Going in. Now we wait. We wait, we get excited, can't wait till they're out. We're gonna try them, cut them open, and show them to you. Okay. Our fish sticks are done. Right at 12 minutes. We right take at them out. 12 minutes. Or sorry, 10. No, why 10. is it 10? Why do we say 12? I have no idea why the number 12 was in my head. Right at 10 minutes, 400 degrees. Look at our fish sticks. They look, look delicious. Fun! To me, that says fun. Fun. Fun in my tummy. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna break one open. Check it out. Look at all the crunchy pieces. Take my fish stick. Let's look at how crispy it looks. It's perfect fish stick size. We're gonna go ahead, get it, get it nice and close, guys. I'm gonna break my fish stick open. I think I can use my fingers for this. Yeah, it's a fish Let's stick. Break open our fish stick. Whoa! It's cooked a Look at that flaky white meat. That is why I love Wahoo, but not just Wahoo, Mahi would do the same thing. That looks so good. Okay, it try it. Okay, but I feel like it's gonna be really hot. Yeah, don't burn your stove. Okay. Frosted flakes. Fish sticks. You see the steam? Can you see the steam? No. I wish you guys could see the steam. I'll put steam on it for you, don't worry. 
<laughs> Go for this. Jack? It's amazing, isn't it? It's really good. The Frosted Flakes add like a little nice sweetness. The panko adds some texture. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, this is a really, really awesome recipe. Definitely one of my favorites. If you guys try it, let us know. Put it in the comments. If you use our inspiration, if you use our inspiration, if you use any recipes for inspiration, let us know. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, and follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.